Hey there, Mustangs. Welcome to school for the week of January 25th. Let's start off the week with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Job well done. Let's see what's happening at Westlake this week. Thanks for the update. We are so excited to reintroduce Mustang Time. Let's find out more. Students and parents, we are excited to announce a reboot of Westlake's Mustang Time. As you are aware, in each of your classes, you are working on mastering certain concepts that are essential. These concepts are critical for your success in that class, for your success in school, and for your success in life. Think back to your days in kindergarten. One of the essential standards you learned was the letters and sounds of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, and so on. Can you imagine if you never mastered those? Some of the things that we learn about in school are critical and we can't move on until we have mastered them. This is where Mustang time comes in. This year, Mustang time will be assigned in 30 minute blocks of time on Friday, where students will get some extra support on essential standards they may not have mastered yet. This may include tutoring, making up a test, or getting help on a crucial assignment. Each Thursday, you and your parents will receive an email telling you in which subjects you haven't reached mastery of an essential standard and what time you'll be expected to join a teacher's Google Meet that Friday. Attendance will be taken each week and participation is required. If you are missing an essential standard in more than one subject, you'll see the time and teacher of all classes you need to join that day. As always, you can check for yourself how you are doing in your classes. Using the district gradebook, you can see which subjects or standards you have yet to show proficiency. Classes and assessments with a 3 or 4 show mastery. If the score is a 0, 1, or 2, this indicates essential standards that still need to be mastered. You can always contact your teachers to ask for help. Mustang time will help you get there. It doesn't matter if you don't show proficiency for the first time you work on an essential standard or the tenth time. The important thing is that you eventually master it. If you do not have an essential standard you need to complete during Mustang time, your email will congratulate you and give you a Google Meet with an extension or bonus option. Make sure you check your email every week as your Friday Google Meet requirements may change. Every student will receive an email with the Google Meet code and time for their Friday Mustang Time assignment. We believe this is a needed system in our school to support you in mastering everything that is essential in 7th and 8th grade. We are excited to bring back Mustang Time.
so cool. Remember to check out your email on Thursdays to know when things are happening. Let's get another COVID code reminder. We are going to re-explain how the hallways work. This is the entrance to hallway B. Please use these doors if you have the following teachers. Let's go! This is the entrance to C Hall. Please only use these doors if you have Spanish, French, Science, or Miss Cuomo's class. This is the entrance for building two. History, math, and health. This is the entrance and the exit to the middle of building two. Please make sure to go through the right side. This is the entrance to the cafeteria. You do not sit on the circles. This is the entrance to A-Hall. Please use this door if you have the gym, the art room, the choir, band, or orchestra. Thanks for that reminder. Hey Mustangs, that's your counselors, and we have a special announcement for the eighth graders. Look for us this week in your math class because we are going to be getting you ready for course selection for Granger High School. It's that time to start picking your classes for ninth grade. And also we will be meeting with you and your parents online for our college and career plan meetings. We will talk about your four-year plan and your plans after high school. Hey there, Mustangs. It's a new year and we started a new term. So I want to talk to you about goal setting. Now setting goals is a really important thing to do, not only because it leads to achievement, but because it gives us motivation and a deeper sense of meaning and purpose. And that's an important human need to meet. So I want to give you some key strategies so that you can set successful goals. Number one, work backwards. Think about the future. Imagine what you want for yourself and how you want to feel, and then figure out what steps you need to take to get there. Number two, your goals should be rooted in your values. Effective goals are values driven. People work for the things that matter to them and they don't work for things that they don't care about. So your goals should matter to you. Number three, have a vision or a plan. And then number four, be flexible in your vision and your plan. We're going to talk more about those last two next week when we start talking about how to create that vision and how to take, turn those goals into actionable steps. But for now, you can just check your weekly email for a couple of videos that I sent you that you can watch on how to think about your future and start dreaming big. I'll see you around. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is Mustang Media.